This is a scan with a linear transducer in a longitudinal orientation placed right at the knee joint. Here's the femur, here's the tibia. And what's immediately apparent in this patient with a swollen and painful knee is that there's no obvious fluid right at the site of the traditional arthrocentesis area uh, at the lateral aspect of the joint itself. Now, when we take the probe and we start sliding up proximal the femur, we'll see a significant fluid collection identified here. Here's the femur again, and now we see a large fluid hypoechoic structure that's outside of the joint. But this area is actually the suprapatellar bursa that is extending both medially and laterally on this patient, consistent with actually a significant joint effusion that would have likely been missed if the needle was inserted for an arthrocentesis right at the joint space. And then we can further take that probe and rotate transverse, where now we have the femur here, and this is the suprapatellar bursa and transverse. Here's the quadriceps tendon superficial to it. And in the ultrasound guided arthrocentesis approach, we would come in in plane underneath that quadricep tendon coming into the suprapatellar bursa. And this is basically would be a very successful arthrocentesis, whereas if we had gone in the traditional anatomic landmark, we would have missed entirely.